Hi, I'm Peter Friedman and we're here at the Rode Theatre in Sydney, Australia. Today I'm talking with a veteran of the Australian audio industry, Rick Creaser. Rick is the designer and inventor of the innovative new Rode pin mic. Rick has been in the film and television sound recording industry for over 25 years and we will talk about his early days as well as what made him become a microphone inventor. So Rick, welcome to Road HQ. Thank you, Peter. Nice to be here. Great. So how did you start in the audio industry? Well, I started about uh, 25 years ago. I started working for a company called Spectrum Films. Now they were the big you know, film house in Sydney that did all the early Australian films. And Peter Weir was there and Phil Noyes and you know, they were doing films like The Picking Hanging Rock and some really good Aussie films. And I was the little guy that ran around the back and did the sound and take, took the sound off the quarter inch Nagra's location sound and transferred it to, to sprocketed magnetic tape that the editors used to come and cut in with the big Motorola's and the film stripes and all that business before computers took over. Mm -hmm. And that was great fun. And then I spoke to a sound recorder. She said, look, if you want to learn sound, because I thought location sounds fantastic because you're on location, you get to travel and stuff, go and work for a television station. So I went to work for um, a show called Willacy at Seven, which is a current affairs show, Australia's you know sort of foremost yeah, current affairs famous. show at the time. So you're wearing something a little bit special today, which a new <laughs> another new road product. But actually, you're the inventor. You're the designer and the inventor. That's, That's true. The, the the road pin mic. So run me through why, what made you develop this? Why did you need this? And what's so special about it? Well, the, um, I came up with the pin mic because the pin mic doesn't look like a normal microphone. It kind of blends and and, and it kind of just fits into what you're wearing. It doesn't have a cable. You see your mic here, you've got the cable going around the outside mm. and it looks like a classic mic and people are accepting of that and that's fine. But when you're doing reality-based shows and things where you really want to not notice the, the craft of making the film, you don't want people running around with lapels on. So you need to have something that's a bit, and generally we bury it. But the things about burying mics is you can get a lot of clothing rustle. And I think anyone that's done a bit of filming has put mics on and noticed clothing rustle. And, and it is a, a big issue with sound recording is getting rid of the clothing rustle, especially when you're putting it under clothes, which is what we tend to do. Sure. So what are the options? If you don't have lapel and you don't want to boom it because it's too noisy or whatever, you know, you want to use lapel because they're simple and easy once they're on, mm. then the only other option is a pin mic. Yeah. And the beauty about a pin mic is, is it, it just disguises as well. And um, what Rode's done, which is fantastic, is the cap comes off and you can spray paint the, the front of it. So if you work on set, say, and someone's wearing a blue top and you go, oh, hang on, I can just make a, a pin mic look like a blue top. Mm, they look great stopped. on a tie, and because there's no cabling coming Yeah, down. putting on a tie, that's a cool idea. Yeah. yeah, so it's a really great thing, and it reduces your, your, your rubbing noise on your clothes as well. Mm. Um, yeah, it has got inbuilt wind-reducing capabilities already as it stands, with a nice gauze. It's as good as any microphone on the market, but if you want, it also comes with a little fluffy that you can stick on. Yeah. One of the great things about a pin mic is, is that it supplements what the gear you've already got. So yeah. in your armory, if you've got a couple of lapels and a boom, you've got a pin mic, then if you do have problems with things where you just don't want to see the mic as much as a lapel, you can't boom it, then you can put on a radio mic and, it, and it'll be perfect. Mm. It'll do the job really well. Mm. So Rick, do you have a complete pin mic kit to show us today? I do, Peter. There's one here. It comes in a great little box and there it is. So what you're getting here is you're getting the back plate. And which has that the connector pins, yeah. Connector pins. Right. So that goes through your fabric. And right. the great thing about it is once it's through your fabric, as you can see here, mm. it actually locks on. And one of the things is it never falls because the pins are actually gone through the fabric and that holds the thing on. Yeah, right. So it's great. It just never falls off. And then we got uh, that outside cover that I talked about. For high wind, wind. cover. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't need it often, but it's great to have. Right. Um, Location. And there is the mic itself, just like the one I'm wearing except in black. And there is a wonderful thing, a spare cover. So you could just color that any color you wish, which is great. And apparently you can buy all these spares and stuff anywhere, yeah, so which is great. Gonna be, you can have as many of those as you like. So I suppose you'd, uh, if you had a, as a sound recorder, you'd, you'd paint up a whole lot anyway. You'd have you a blue, would. a green, oh, you'd have a, a white, or whatever. And then you're going to get pretty close to oh. people. But I suppose in theatre, somebody who wanted to go nuts, they could do a bit of gold or whatever oh. and bl gr blue and green to match a costume. You could do anything you yeah, want. Right. Exactly. You put a flag on it, doesn't you know, anything as you great. Don't need to, as long as you don't block the holes. That's it. To block the careful. holes. That's right. That's right. Exactly so, uh, right. When they so, do get gummed up with makeup, you can always throw it away and buy another one. Exactly right. And there's just a, a, a clip to, to, to secure it. So it's a great little kit. So um, yeah, Beautiful design. It is a great design.